Hey there, in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to work with BBPress. We'll start from downloading or installing BBPress plugin in your WordPress dashboard, and then we'll see each and every option that user has to configure and work with this form plugin. You have an option of downloading the BBPress from official site. Right now we have 2.3.2 version and 2.4 is in development. You can download old version from track environment here. Go to branches and select the branch that you want to download. Only download older versions if any of the new feature from the new version is broken and you are not able to work with new setup. In such case, make sure that you have deactivated the old plugin and install here. You can deactivate and remove the plugin before using any old version. As of now, we have 2.3.2, but it had some issues with posting, so I have installed 2.2.4 on my system. You can download by selecting the version number and then click on zip archive from BBPress track SVN repository. You have to extract this plugin into WP Content Plugins folder and name your plugin as BBPress. Once you download and extract the plugin, you can go to your plugin settings, activate the plugin, and then you will see that you have forum tab, topics tab and replies tab. Before going on to these tabs, let's see what are the settings available to us. First setting I want you to configure is membership setting. Here you have to tick anyone can register if you want your forum to be accessible by anyone on the internet. If you want it limited to some of the people in your domain, then you can set up respective membership uh, method uh, via official widget which you can find here. As you can see, there is always login and logout widget that you can use on sidebar. So let's get back to the settings. Click on settings, then check the option form. In form settings, you have anonymous posting option if you want to make any random visitor to post threads or replies on your form. Only enable this option if you have and this spam plugin like Akismet or Recapture or any other strong anti spam plugin enabled. If you don't have any anti spam plugin, I suggest not checking this option at all. Right now I can check it because I'm on local server. Also you can change some of the slugs. Slugs are the name that you can give to your form. For example, As you can see, it shows post type forum. You can change this name here, forum slug, and same goes for topic. Whenever you click on the topic, let's say here, as you can see, it says short code reference. And if you check the URL, it says 
question mark topic e equal to short code dash reference you can change topic to thread if you want but I suggest not doing that because by default form works out of the box with all the settings made for you you don't have to do anything at all you also get option for embedded media links for example if you want to embed YouTube video Twitter tweet Flickr etc then you can enable this option when you do that you just add the video normally in your post and it will fetch the specific content and display the video tweet or flicker photo you can also disallow editing after 5 minutes or 10 minutes or more if you don't want original posts to update or any reply to be up updated it also allows revision of posts you can set favorites you can allow users to subscribe to threads and there are tags these are similar to what WordPress offers by default you can also assign role default role for each and every post for example if there is any random user posting on your form then you can assign contributor role or subscriber role to him there is also fancy editor that means you can see here this editor right now doesn't have much video visual elements you can select visual and then you can see it has all the options you can enable the symbol by default or manually select like I did right now now let's check the form tab as you can see I already have two forms if I want to create a new one I have to click create new forum and then type the name as let's say chit chat I can add description related to that forum or anything that you want to tell your readers or forum readers about it like some notes what to post what not to post etc let's check this out there you go we have our forum right here right now we can create a new topic here type sticky and super sticky will keep these topics at the top of forum and if you want any particular topic for readers to notice before posting on forum then you have to sticky those threads over there and making it normal for now yes as you can see I have this thread right now and everything is working you can also post replies and I have to check yes as you can see there is option for sticky to front where I can take this topic at the front of the form also add it to the favorites or subscri subscribe so that whenever someone new posts on this forum they can get email notification or notification in wordpress dashboard now when you create your first forum you have to modify your wordpress theme 
and add the link to the form in your navigation tab. For example, I have forum link here which I have added by modifying menu as you can see into my forum is here if you want to add link to your own forum you have to click on links then click here to view copy link address and then paste it here and then name your link and then click add menu when you do that that link with the name will be added here and then you have to save this option when you save this menu then changes will appear immediately and you can see that on your page if you don't see your forum in navigation this is what you have to do you have to specifically tell WordPress setup to point link test form to URL of your form. It doesn't point to the form by default. So you have to manually do it. Then there is a topics tab. It has all the topics that are created within any subcategories or sub form. It also has topic tags. So you can create the tags and your readers and other moderators can use these tags. If you are using tag with SEO in mind, then I suggest creating some of the tags and then let your users use those tags. Then there is the replies tab. Here you can monitor all the replies that are made to your forum topic. You can edit any such replies where there is a spam or in framing comments or anything that you don't want that you can edit here. As you can see, this is a typical theme that you can get with BBPress. There are many other themes that you can download from BBPress themes or just let your parent theme of WordPress setup to match with this default theme. If you have some time or a developer is working for you, then you can edit this theme and lend the rest of the form with default plugin or the plugin that you get with your site. I suggest bundling all the theme related changes in plugin and then execute it. So basically all you have to do is first create a forum, then create topic, then go into the settings related to forum and then adjust your forum setting and then let your users post on it. That is all you have to do. I hope this tutorial helps. If you have any questions or queries, just let me know in the comments. Thanks.